<laughs> all right. Well, I got a lot to talk about. We all have a lot to talk about because uh, we had our little vacation week, and uh, we will catch you up on what we did. First, I ran into something in 2022, about uh, oh. seven minutes ago, and I was looking for a mug mm. to... Um, pour my coffee into oh, boy. Ryan Let me and, uh, oh Gina. my good that's, that's god cr- that's crust, like a crime it's scene crusted over yes it's uh you can see the rings Let me see that. along the bottom that's there jfk shirt along, wait <laughs> you can see uh it's a coffee mug it's got it's got all the dried up black coffee at the bottom but there's then no you, lipstick on it you can there. count the rings the rings are always Unfortunately, they're like three quarters of an inch from the bottom, so yeah. you got to get in there with the yeah. sponge. And then I went for uh, mug number two. That's, mug number oh, two. Oh, come on. That's got the harsh ring. That's pretty rough. Uh, because <laughs> the stuff sat in the sink uh, during the break for 10 days oh, and yeah. no one got to it. So I'm now just going to c- declare it un- undoable that people rinse the mugs or anyone rinse. Now, everyone will go, well, that wasn't my mug. Right. That's the number one answer. I, I get it. It's not my mug either. But but I've made my wishes clear for almost 13 years of just rinse, what just rinse think? the mug out. What I do is... believe many times you said, I hereby deputize all of you. Everybody yeah. walking past that sink can just rinse it out. Now, it, what the does prom- the mug say on it? It says, Dad. Oh, no, I'm a dad. That's right. It's Wait, got the uh, it's got the strong ring about an inch from the bottom. It sure see, does. And a lot of the tall boy mugs, you got to get in there with that sponge now, and there's no real good way to do it. But I'm now going to just declare it unsol- unsolvable, I mean, undoable. Except it's a, it's a what problem. is, like a Buddhist. There you go. It's neither good it's, nor bad. Yeah, it just yeah. is. It just is, except for <clears throat> now someone's really got to fucking go at these mugs because yeah. the stuff is baked on on yeah. the bottom. That's rough. But... That's crusty. That's Why disgusting. Is, is it one? Of, it That's was a creme brulee. Topic. It was one of my first decrees. Yeah. Ever. When I started this business, I was like, "We got all the coffee we want. We have a sink. When you're done, we're yeah. lousy with mugs. You just have to rinse it out. And by the way, you don't have to clean it. No. You just have to fill it with water just halfway. Shoot it. Yep. Just shoot it with water, and then said, "I I have found this one particular instance with humanity." an unachievable yeah. request. It, it's not achievable. Can't now, the bathroom policy, that was implemented oh, and adhered to immediately. Yeah. And you could say to yourself, well, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. See, and, and by the way, it, it, I, I don't. I think we should take pause. We should pause here and be thankful for the bathroom policy because totally. we have uh, two bathrooms here. Indeed. And um, the Gina bathroom. Yeah. And everybody else. else. Nobody, nobody wants that thing. The thing about the bathroom is it's, it's, it's universally split into no one wants to be on the pot and have someone jiggling the doorknob. And nobody wants to be the person outside of the bathroom. Excuse you. I'm in here. (laughs) I think it's almost, depending on your wiring, it's almost evenly split in the, which one would you rather be? The answer is it's a coin toss for me. I don't want to be either one of those people. And that problem, and I'll just go over it quickly uh, for people, because you have a workplace or even the home is very, uh, you can fix. It's very achievable. And, and by the way, people are, pardon the pun, dutiful here <laughs> in that if the door is shut and latched, someone is in there 100% of the time. Not even, just walk past it. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen, in 10 years, I haven't seen someone jiggle a knob or goes, oh, is, is anybody, or do the back knuckle? Nope. Yeah. The back knuckle knock? No. That's the nice knock? Right. You go back knuckle. You go, excuse me, right. uh, anybody? No, it's never happened. Now, As though the person inside can see. Uh, all right. we, it's, it's got a different tone no, to it. Does, it. Softer, it does, it softer, it's softer touch. It's, it's, it's the finesse of the honk that says, eh, the lights, yeah. go ahead and move along yeah, versus there's, there's, get the fuck out of the way, it. douche. Yep. You go back now. Yeah. In a decade, I've not seen anyone jiggle a knob or walk. No one, by the way, we got 10 people. People are buzzing oh. around, drinking coffee mm-hmm. on the throne, off the throne. No one has walked in on anybody uh. in a decade. Yes, the, the rare time that it happens, and it is very rare, is a guest or a publicist. Yeah, they've been coached no up. No one yet. here does that. I, you literally can set your watch on yeah. it. Oh, literally, literally. <laughs> now you would know exactly what time it was. No, if the if if, if 
on, on rare occasion, the door's shut and then it's been too long and we're all here going, well, Matt's in his office. Yeah. Who Gary's over it. Who? A lot of options. And then you realize, oh, the publicist yeah, right. closed yeah. it after. That's the only time it's you'll not see us. it. Implemented perfectly. Yes. And um, and so if the door's shut, don't even don't even knock, don't yeah. even stop. Someone's in there. Doors open, well, doors open. Doors ajar, you enter at your own risk. Yeah. That means someone was in there. They're not. They did some damage. <laughs> That's all. Those those three things, we are done. Yep. We're done with the bathroom. No more confusion. Protocol has been set and adhered to. You've talked more about it in the last ten years than it's been, you know, been, been uh, an a issue. problem. Yeah, I like to praise. <laughs> You're more <laughs> carrot than and stick. This is praise. positive reinforcement for the ace. Man. Well, it's a, it's a pretty, it's, it's a. So what I try to do is I go. In life, I go. This is going to happen. I, 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 I woke up this morning. I was, uh, it's freezing outside, by the way. I was going to go get in the swimming pool and was, it was real bright and the sun was shining, but it was really cold. And uh, I got up this morning, I was like, oh, wait, where are my sunglasses? Because I came home last night and it was dark mm. when I got home. And I was like, well, sometimes when it's dark, I don't have my sunglasses. Where do I leave them downstairs or in the car or whatever? They were exactly where I put them every time because uh -huh. it rain or shine, dark, moon or sun, I'm just like, <laughs> And I thought to myself, oh, pattern. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, thank Because I don't want to wrestle with this. Right. My feeling is uh, the um, Albert Einstein approach to life, which is you know, have the same suit, wear it every day. Don't mm. think about it. Don't waste time. No one does better than you, buddy. That's right. <laughs> so, you and Steve Jobs. <laughs> I've always thought, what are the little things? Mm -hmm. Now, you're not going to, in life, when the cube truck drops off all the merch and you got to unload it once every two months or some version of that. That's just work. Mm -hmm. But then there's all the little minutia, all the little mm -hmm. bits and pieces of life. Straighten those out. Yeah. Keys, mm -hmm. sunglasses, mugs, doors. And so I was here early and often, almost 13 years ago, and I was like, everyone's in and out of these bathrooms. Everyone's confused. No one. I said, let's just set this. Set it. Walk away. <laughs> forget We've it. Never, set it and forget it. There's no... No more confusion. So then I think, do it for you. Mm -hmm. How much of that can I do with everything around here? Mm -hmm. But the mug, <laughs> your power is limited. Yeah, the mug say. is undoable. <laughs> and let's really try to let's try to figure out if we could, from a psychodynamic standpoint, why is the bathroom eminently doable and the mug undoable? And the mug is, I, I label it, I decree, <laughs> it's unfixable. It is unfixable. I, the, the number of times I brought up rinse out your mug, it's it's got to be in the you know 1800 to 2200 realm of every human being in this building yelling, over. sometimes just over. begging. Yeah. Just beg, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just you want. And for people who are listening may not know the lay of the land. It's not like the kitchenettes in the back corner yeah. of the facility. You can't help but pass it. it is, you, you literally, you open the studio door, you walk into the sink. Every human being walks past the sink. My argument is when people go, I, uh, Dawson was drinking. Yeah, he's gone and you've walked past the sink 23 times. Right. And everyone's everyone's always around the sink and the fridge around yep. here. There's always a little, little grouping. We'll not do it. No. So Why? What's the difference between the bathroom I'm, I'm, door and the coffee mug? I was thinking about the last 90 seconds, and I'm having trouble thinking of like a psychological reason why they would I have why one. be so hard. I have one. Oh, please. Uh, or the difference. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why, I'm now, is, yes, I'm now throwing out the difficulty factor. They won't do it, but why will? Why, why, why is the bathroom door policy flawless? Mm -hmm. Because and the this, mug policy, there's undoable. no emotional pain walking by a sink full of mugs, but there is an emotional pain of being on the other side of that toilet on that right, door. Right. So everyone's got a little skin in the game oh, with I the see. toilet. Yeah. Don't want to be walking Your in yeah. skin is in the game. Yeah. Literally. You either you don't want to be waiting outside nope. the closed door okay. that's shut for no okay. reason. You don't want to be walked in on. You don't want to back. We have something. I can walk by the sink effortlessly Ooh. and have a great day. This is my problem with the welfare state, everybody. <laughs> See, the same group of people, this the same group of people that are crazy dutiful when, it, you know, super consistent yeah. with one activity. The other activity, which is more easily achievable, mm -hmm. is not doable 
because they don't care. I've, I've and by the way, you can't get them to care. No, That's the whole no. point. There's no amount. I, I think we've exhausted the argument of arguments, right? <laughs> There's no more discussion. No. It's just... It's not doable. I wonder if the, the, so the bathroom thing, that's, so it comes down to think accountability. The bathroom thing is immediate accountability. Mm -hmm. Someone walks in, dude, that's on you. You, you, you're, the light's on you. You know what I mean? You've been mm -hmm. busted. Whereas with the mug, it's a little bit like, oh, just set it down and uh, maybe I get, maybe something happens. Yeah. Maybe something happens. Kick the cup down the road. There's a little bit of like maybe right. accountability versus maybe no accountability. Right. Also, so uh, I, I, here's what I'm yeah. saying though, is a, is a bigger, more sociological approach. These are, in general, good people mm -hmm. who cannot be convinced to do something they don't want to do unless they feel like there's something mm -hmm. they would benefit. Yeah. It's yeah. not, my words are not enough. Clearly, <laughs> my words are not enough oh. to achieve the rinsing of the mug. No, they're not. They need something. And this is my problem with uh, we got to build housing for the homeless and we got to give out, uh, you know, free turkeys on Thanksgiving yeah. and stuff like you got to motivate. People yeah. need to be motivated. That's now if you have something called character, then it's not really an issue. Yeah. But evidently there's a character issue. Well, I think that most I, I'm now seeing that I'm one of the few who's very, very easily affected by shame because oh, shame. Yeah, have, shame does not affect have, the new world. That doesn't right. affect the kids anymore. I've gotten in my car, opened the gate, pulled out and thought, oh, motherfucker, I left a half a yes. can and come back in because mm. I don't want to hear about it. No, I've 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 often uh, lamented where I've said, like, how many times you want to talk about it? How many times <laughs> you want to talk about it? Why aren't you killing? If you were Japanese, you would have killed yourself nine years ago. You would have found a bell tower and jumped off yeah. it. Why are you not awash with shame? I just see the look in people's face where I go like, how How many times are we going to discuss this? They go, well, they just, how many times just you got? catch it. Yeah. It'll oftentimes happen. I will have a tantrum out there about mugs. Uh, following day, I will come in. There will be. I, I can't buy myself four days of good mug it's gotta hygiene. Be intentional at that point, right? I, it, On the heels it, of the It's oh. not intentional. It's the number of times you talk to someone about something. It does not. They're they're a hamper with no shame bottom. Yeah. It just go shoot right through. It. Boom. It's yeah. a lot. They're not a hamper. They're a laundry chute. Yes. Of shame. And it just blows like they're a dumb waiter. You start. Other people like yeah, maybe it's a. Uh, Maybe there needs to be, in, as I think about it, you know, everything I learned, everything I've learned, I learned from either playing football or doing construction. It's kind of the same thing, mm -hmm. you know? And when, like, the foreman, like, comes by mm -hmm. and he starts coaching you up and you snapping the line on the plywood and how you just screwed the pooch on it Snap and blah, blah, line. blah, whatever, whatever that, whatever <laughs> yeah. that is. It's like you, you go, oh, shit. Yeah. And then your greatest fear is that guy coming by sure. again and watching you do this thing one more time in front of them and screwing the yeah. pooch again. And in football, same thing, mm -hmm. like missing the snap count well, or not wrong technique. Football or military, you know, right, accountability military. to the group, right? It's like you fucked up now. Right. Going to take a lap. Well, right. And, and yeah, whatever. like nobody loves avoiding confrontation just avoiding shit in general more than me so if we're gonna have this conversation once done i want to avoid this for the rest of my life since i discovered lipstick on uh, one of the uh moms, how dare you ever again thank that's you that's my point i'm, I'm <laughs> gonna give you a say, i am di that's why when you pulled up that mug that's the first thing i looked for was lipstick it's it's an interesting gear that your body must go <laughs> into which is um when somebody says to me, I've said it many times, Olga is the nanny who I pay. Mm -hmm. So I should be able to do whatever the fuck I want around Olga. Olga Will you stop calling her a nanny. At some uh, point? Olga. Well, she's my nanny. Now. I know. Olga has no qualms about coaching me up. Oh, wow. She has no qualms about, why do you leave in the sink? You know, put this away. You know, you know, don't, mm -hmm. you don't put it, don't do this. You know, don't do it that way. Right. Do it this way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I have, if she coaches me up, 
I have a little tingle in my spine. Like, okay, I don't want to. I, I never want to have this conversation mm-hmm. again with this person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I sir, and and if she if she's coming over, and I'm like, oh boy, I left something in the sink or whatever. Like, Do I a will quick check. I will go. You know, Phil will get the food if you put the food uh, too mm-hmm. close to the edge of the whatever. I'm like, uh oh, Olga's coming. Oh. Phil's here. Like, I better go take a pass. I could. Well, now, you don't want to be kicked in the ribs. Exactly. She will kick you in the ribs swiftly. The the interesting thing is some people, it does not have that, it's almost a physiological effect on them when you're talking to them about let's not have this happen again. They don't have that weird kind of shamey reaction in your stomach. to it. It's like you tell them about the coffee mugs and then the guy... Then you pull out one of those flashlights from Men in Black. You just wave <laughs> it in front of their face, away. and they go right back to it. It's never happened again. That's There's great. no accumulation. It's weird. Yeah. Max Pat, any thoughts about the accumulation? You know, I had COVID. I, I was gone. I wasn't. I Smart. Wasn't, sure. Good. Right. right. Good. But then there's yes. 11 years before that where you left the mugs. We yeah. left the mugs out. Why? Why doesn't that? I never want to talk about this again. Conversation seem to sink in with today's kids. You know, I, I I don't know what to say other than the fact that is I do wash my own mug, and I I don't know. Sure. But now, but you say now that it's my responsibility to when I walk by the sink to peek in there. Not and, now. Uh, this is what I've been saying for a decade. You yeah. walk past the sink. <laughs> you're at the sink. You're not even walking past. You go to the sink. You're making yourself something in the microwave. Where give a rinse. Yeah, just on behalf of the greater good. <laughs> okay. Like Mark Garagus's wife picks up garbage when she's walking out. It's not her <laughs> cigarette pack. She's not a smoker, but it's in the street. And but you're her, not even she, asking people. She lives in the community. Like right. this this person, this could just be one person, right, that's doing this in, in, in the entire staff. And now we're just rewarding this person by just washing his or her mug. <laughs> See, that's her, the thought. Her, that's an attack. Dude. That was really. <laughs> remember, fun. remember the, Sorry, oh, I was kidding, Remember when I had the three stooges in this office over here, and I said, "Clean <laughs> your <laughs> office, clean the office," and they wouldn't clean the yeah. office. Yeah. And then at some point, I said to one of them, "Clean the <laughs> office," and he said, "Well, there's three of us, so I only have <laughs> one third. The office is six foot wide and twelve foot long." It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a medium-sized mm-hmm. closet in the kids' room in mm-hmm. Beverly Hills. Mm-hmm. It's like he, he was talking about not wanting to clean the part of the office that wasn't his office. <laughs> that, see, football, uh, military, construction group, side, mm-hmm. that's that's the problem. I think that's you're missing, and you're missing one element, because I'm like, well, I never did any of those. Land Emotional landmine father. Mm. So you can add that one. You don't know where the next outburst oh, the is going to come from. So this in. shit better be clean because you don't want to hear about that's it. That's what we all want to do is live in that, fear. You're, that's you're, right. you're a patriarch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we have wow. our uh, recap. A rousing start to the year. <laughs> Well, brand new. I call it uh, found fury. That's right. I uh, was not. Pl- I was not <laughs> planning on talking about the mugs, but when I walked into wow. the full sink, I was just looking for a mug for me to use. Yeah. Can't over. be done. I what I will do because I don't have the uh, hygiene that everyone else has is I'll just grab a mug out of the sink, rinse it out, and pour mm-hmm. coffee into it. But if it's encrusted, and Even if it's you. got the ring around it, it's got the scuba. On the bottom, and again, you, you reach your fingers into it, but you can't yeah. really. I'm just get gonna to bring it. in a couple of scrub brushes. Yeah, Those were what I use. We need every, that. Every also, parents. I've seen you do something that almost made me gag, and so now I have to take a special uh, uh, precaution when I use the foam thingy. The little, you know what I'm talking about, the stick that foams the, whiz, the coffee. The wizard. Oh, I've no, seen... you're the foamer. Yeah, yeah, the foamer. That, Yeah, right, not the foam sponge. No, 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 no. The, the frother. The frother, thank you. The fro- We have a wheelie frother. We do. You put it in the coffee, foamed it up nice, frothed it up nice, and then instead of rinsing it in the sink, you dunked it in a dirty mug, That's a cup right. of, of cup of water that was in the sink. That's true. Okay. I do do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I'll give it a rinse, you're sometimes I won't. You're not going to get one. I, I will look in the sink to see if I see a glass or mug that appears to have cleanish water yeah, that's in clear-ish. it. Cloudy. I drop it in, I saw buzz it, it once, yep. put it right back on the uh, on the thing. You know who would love that? Greta Thunberg. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what? You guys are on the same side. got a lot more in common yeah. than uh, one would think. All right. Well, now we'll get to our holiday recaps. First, uh, 
I'll tell you about concrete myth. Creatine is just for bodybuilders. Fact, creatine is for any fitness routine. The stuff is good. I got it uh, in my hand right now. As a matter of fact, this is empty because I emptied it out into a bowl and brought it home, but I wanted to have the canister up here to show the audience. Concrete, number one stimulant-free pre-workout supplement. Concrete, patented creatine. HCL is the favorite of elite informed athletes. I've talked to Dr. Drew about uh, creatine. He's like, oh, yeah. Drew's not like it's hard to get him on a supplement. Sometimes I'll go, oh, you're fine. Just mm-hmm. drink water and exercise or whatever. But he's like, no, you should be on uh, creatine. And concrete is the best. Your uh, brain uses about 20% of creatine in your body. Concrete fuels your body and your mind. So give it to a loved one this year. Right, Dawson? Take control of your health, both body and mind. Building a better you with concrete. Register now at concrete.com slash podcast. That's C-O-N dash C-R-E-T dot com slash podcast to receive free membership to Planet Fitness for an entire year, plus a $500 Walmart Visa gift card. Available now online and in-store at Walmart. Concrete is truly changing the game. All right. I moved my mugs out of the way. We got our uh, Christmas break. Uh, I was almost... I don't throw it around lightly, but uh, I got into a situation on the road where I could have been killed, oh. and uh, I was very close to that. Jesus. And uh, you know me. I'm not uh, not a lot of hyperbole. I, uh, Except I, for comes to mugs. As if, <laughs> <laughs> I, the first time I would argue I'm, pl- I'm fucking no. playing this thing down. <laughs> <laughs> um I was, there's two things. I've realized two things. I, I hurt my back a little bit, uh, during the Christmas break. And, uh, and I, I had a, I had about three days of kind of a bad back. Mm. Tell would, me about that, Grandpa would, Corolla. And I never, I never, you never heard me complain about a bad back. And I realized at some point somebody had, to, I had to pick up Natalia from the airport, whatever. And my back was just fucked up. Mm. And I called uh, Olga and I said, uh, hey, nanny, uh, can you can you pick up Natalia from the airport? Because I'm hurting. Like, I'm having trouble walking around. You got the lumbar support in the, in the car? I got that, the... Uh, I, a big difference. I, I, I'll tell heat. you, man. I turned the heat yes. and it's got a massager on. Oh, I'm rolling with that. Really but it, ah. it was bad enough. And she said, yeah, no problem. And then I... I felt self-conscious. I was like, okay, does she think you're just going... Yeah, bad back is universal yeah. for I'm hungover, or I'm right. fucking tired, or right. I'm lazy, right. or I don't want to do this thing, you know what I the mean? The Irish flu. Yeah, it's like I got a, a lot of people, I got a bad back, no. I can't go help you do whatever. And then I thought, oh no, I never complained about a bad back ever. I was gonna say, so yeah. if I say I have a bad back, then everyone believes. And, yeah. and I think I, I thought about it. If you are a person who is never sick or never has a bad back or never says I can't do X, mm-hmm. Y, and Z because I'm sick or I have a bad back or whatever, on the rare occasion when you do do it, everyone believes you. Yeah. yeah. Versus Don't spend time worrying the, about that. Boy, I cried wolf. Yeah. Yes, versus the other one of the person that's always feeling a little or my Under back or whatever. Yeah. Just give me some trouble today. Everyone kind of yeah. rolls their mm-hmm. eyes. Mm-hmm. All right, we will uh, take ourselves a uh, quick break. I'll tell you all about this story right after this. It's time to check Adam's voicemail. Hey, CS. Uh... I'm out here walking the goddamn dog, and I noticed that uh, somebody overflowed their trash can with styrofoam, and then it was picked up, and the lazy garbage men did not handle anything. So I'm out here like Garagos's wife, picking up fucking styrofoam off everybody's lawn, because why the hell not? I noticed it, so handle it. Uh, probably wouldn't have done that had you not told that story about his wife so many times, so good on you, brother. You can leave us a message at 888-634-1744. Now, Dawson, do you guys pull those ones out because I said Garagas' wife? That one I did, yes. Oh, good. Well, still good on you, man. Uh, Yeah. We made a... I used to do this bit, but I haven't done it in a while. Um, The garbage men with the robotic arm, Mm -hmm. my feeling is, is... We never should have sent the message to the garbage men, you don't have to get out of the truck. 
because they ain't getting out of the truck now. Like I've had times where the can is facing the wrong direction. It doesn't have the hook. Sorry. They just ride on, week. Right. Right on by. <laughs> and my feeling is, is if I'm recruiting oh. for the garbage industry, <laughs> I'm like, do you have a fundamental problem with getting the fuck out of a garbage truck? And if the answer is yes, go home. Right. Yeah. I need guys who can on occasion get out of the cab of the garbage truck because I grew up in a world where the the garbage man, one guy wasn't even in the truck. Yeah, they hang off the back. One guy drove the truck. There I just hung off, literally yeah. hung off the back of uh of of the truck. They do not do that anymore, correct? No, okay. they they do not. They do not. Has it ever come up that I come from a long line of garbage men? I know we know the fireman part. Yeah, uh, that's the other side of the family. The <laughs> other side, the bishop side. Grandpa Bishop uh, worked for the uh, fi- the sanitation department, and his uh, uncle Wonka, Uncle Wonka, Uncle Bill. He uh, he worked for the uh, he was a trash man as well. Did he hang off the back of the he truck? He did. He was the, he he when his younger days, you know, mm. the, 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 you age out, right? You become yeah. the driver at some sure. point. But yeah, he was the he was the tosser with the old timey cans. That's right. Yeah, this is you the eighties, you know, San Francisco corrugated metal mm-hmm. ones. Exactly. Like I said, the greatest humility of the Corollas is when they deep six your can for you. There's at some point they, because they are, they're garbage man, but they're also kind of an insurance adjuster. Like this car is totaled. Yeah. You know, at some point they go totaled. And at some point when the bottom is rotting out, one of the handles is busted off mm-hmm. and you can see all the rust mm-hmm. on the side. At some point they make the motion to empty it and they just, just let, it, let go. it go. Be free, Willie. <laughs> If these losers won't have enough <laughs> dignity to buy new, t- I will. We'll I will. In. I will intervene at this point. <laughs> it's really like having a child taken away from you yeah, by protective absolutely. services. It's it's the trash Trifle. version of that. So I was driving to Malibu uh, about three four days ago. I think the first picture Max Pat is up on the highway, uh, going down the hill, or it's a video. Sorry, I should say. Yeah. So. What had happened was I was uh, driving down the 10 and uh, the 10 Santa Monica freeway just turns into PCH. It turns into highway one and then you just keep going. And if you go far enough, you'll get to Malibu, but, but Waze was saying, uh, get off the 10, Uh, get onto Santa Monica and cut through Santa Monica and make your way down to PCH mm-hmm. at some point. Do not go through. And uh, I start seeing cars piling up at, toward the end. That mm-hmm. The 10 just ends and you can see. So you get off on Lincoln or Cloverfield yep. or 4th yep. or whatever it is. And uh, it became apparent <laughs> that there was some kind of mudslide on PCH. Now, I, I, if I can interject, I know yes. exactly when this was because Christy's dad uh, is an avid AM uh, radio listener. He can't sleep, so he gets up at four in the morning and listens to radio. And uh, and and at breakfast, he happily reported, "Oh, big mudslide on uh, PCH." Oh. Uh, first thing I thought of was all the other people. Now I thought of you, of course. Yeah. I'm like, well, I wonder if Adam's affected by that. Well, I was, and a couple things. There were some mudslides all over PCH. Uh, it had rained for a whole two days in a row. That's a lot out here. How dare we? I'm saying uh, we pay the most in gas prices in California because all the taxes and everything mm-hmm. on the on the for the roads, for the roads, for the roads. We cannot we cannot in, in 2000 and now 22. We cannot um, tame nature <laughs> to the point where if it rains for more than one day, We're the ruined. fucking hill comes down and just sl- takes the road out. <laughs> look, look, what were we like a village in Guatemala? It's pretty. This it's fucking pretty Malibu. Yeah. It's Malibu. The houses that you pass when you go down mm-hmm. PCH on the Pacific side of the ocean, there are some that are sixty million dollars. There are others on the low. I mean, DiCaprio just sent sold his little shit box <laughs> over there in Carbon Beach. It was like nineteen hundred square, ten point seven million dollars. Like. There are the most expensive property taxes on the goddamn planet. Just that whole, ironically, PCH. If if you could own, if you could own a one mile stretch of highway and all the real estate on it, you would want PCH yep. in Malibu. Cannot put anything at, in in. Can't do anything about the hill after it rains for a day and a half, sliding down and covering the mountain. But all right. So, but here's my bigger point. Everyone gets directed off PCH because everyone's driving around with the nav now, right? right? So 
everyone who's going down the 10 and going to get on the PCH gets pushed off. Nav, tell them, get off here and everyone. So then there's a big, long, I think it's called the California Incline or yeah. something. But you get from you get from Santa Monica, where all the nice restaurants are up there and uh, the pier mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And there's this one long mm-hmm. street that just goes down. It drops about 300 feet. And you go down to PCH. Right. So everyone's going around the mudslide and we're going down the incline. Now, here's my bigger point. Um now, of course, the incline is way backed up because, and you can show the it's all one lane road the the film, but uh, I took a I took a video. It's a little hard to tell, but you can see there's no action on PCH because the mudslide closed down PCH, and I was trying to shoot it in the mirror, but behind me is an endless queue of cars because right. now the queue of cars is going all the way up the hill and it's going all the way down the hill and I will get to my uh, my larger point. My larger point is there is a human being who's at the bottom of the hill and there's a sign that says no right on red. Oh, now, yes. I don't want... Oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. First off, I don't know why we ever need that sign. Just turn right when it's safe to turn right. But all right, cars speed down PCH, what have you. So no right on red and an endless red signal. Is this the hairpin turn going up the incline you're talking about or it's, farther down? It's, it's, it's right at the bottom. Okay. It's at the bottom of the incline. Uh, where it hits PCH. My point is, is I'm sitting there watching and going, wait a minute. Now I drive through all, I turn right on PCH constantly. Oh, I, yes, I yes, turn yes. right on every red arrow, every, if, if the sign says no right turn, I don't pay any, Never mind to it. Right. I go through everything, but fine. No right on a red. This is the rare double no right. Cause if you're driving, on, sorry, this is for people who are looking at the video. You can't make a turn to go up the incline either. They're, they're blocking every direction. Right. So, After sitting there for 10 minutes and seeing zero cars come down PCH, I conclude that PCH is closed. Right. So a mile down the road, it's blocked. There is no cars. Coming the other direction. It's impossible to encounter another car because it's been closed. And in fact, everyone has been rerouted. Could (laughs) the ugly American at the front of the line... After seeing there are no car, nobody knows better than them that PCH is closed going that direction. There are no cars. There are no, there's no PCH, there's no cops, there's no sheriff, there's no anybody. Behind you is just an endless line of vehicles. Just rain. In front of you is heaven. Mm -hmm. And there's nobody around. And if there are cops, they're all down at the end directing traffic where the Mm mudslide is. And I would also argue... That even in this town, first off, I, I would love to find the cop who would give the ticket to the person that turned right. Because you just go, there was a mudslide. The cars mm-hmm. were going all the way up the hill. They're spilling into the neighborhoods of Santa Monica. I'm just trying to alleviate Force some the tension sure. there. And right. the first person to rip that bandit off, everyone would dutifully and happily follow. Right. But the first person would not turn right. And the person behind them would not fucking honk. Mm. And they, we just sat there while cars just fucking piled up. Could we have some sort of system where we kind of, and it's it's our fault because we bust people for rolling through yeah. four-way mm-hmm. stops, but we bust people for not, not spirit of the law, letter of the law. So everyone is freaked mm-hmm. out because we have cops that are overly ambitious. What if we just said, uh, look, here's a new policy. There is the spirit of the law, and then there is the letter of the law. The spirit of the law is no turning right because you may hit another car. Yeah, people are flying that PCH at 60 miles an hour. But if the highway's closed, <laughs> then no vehicle by shall be means. coming. Then, but by all means. Yeah. Or let's just say it's Sunday, right? and it's uh, 4 in the morning, and there's just nobody on the road. You may. You may go. You may safely go. And if I'm a cop and I spot you doing something and a semi had to swerve to get around, you're getting a ticket. But if if there's no harm and no foul, imagine everyone just being deputized. Like, it's just turn right. Just, just go. If it's safe, when it's safe yeah. you, we trust yeah. you. You have a license. You have a vehicle. You have insurance. Stop. Look. Right. Go. We used to say, no cop, no stop. Yeah. <laughs> except, for, except for they hide here. 
that's that's the problem. But anyway, so I just thought, ugh. all right. And again, the person behind him, once it becomes clear, every human being waiting on that hill is only there because PCH is closed and nobody knows it better than them. Right. <laughs> Why not toot on the horn? Why not just go? There's just go a, ahead. There's nobody. We I could go lay down in the fucking highway at this point. <laughs> no pun intended. I've been raining horns. Right. Yeah. You know not I mean? not a one. Driver. Not a, and of course I thought about. It. I was 27 cars back. Mm. I'll toot my max toot throughs about seven, eight cars. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll, yeah, I'll the toot through. But you're asking for trouble. Just turn right. Yeah. Just turn right. It's, it's just implement that. Let's go, everybody. Yeah. What, what are we talking about here? It's just fucking nothing but traffic and sitting. So now I go down PCH. And uh, lo and behold, I get to uh, Sunset. And there's been another mudslide. Oh, boy. Wouldn't you know? So now another part, it's, it's essentially PCH is a snake, and we're cutting it into sections mm-hmm. with mudslides, mm-hmm. right? So now there's no way we could have anticipated this dirt would come down the hill after it rained for two whole days. Like Again? Two whole days. Fine. They can put netting up. I, yeah. I, you know what I think? Would this ever happen on the Autobahn? Oh, God. It could you imagine no. this happening in Germany on the Autobahn? And yeah. then the next answer would be, why? Why not? Why would it not happen? Because they have people that care about yeah. efficiency over there. But anyway. So now I turn up uh, Sunset. And uh, now it's time to fish around. But we don't know how much more PCH is closed and how far it's closed or how long it's closed. So when do you pop down? It's right about that time that the waves goes out and the Mm -hmm. wheels just start Mm -hmm. spinning around. So now I'm like, oh, boy. So I'm just going to follow people through neighborhoods. So I'm I'm guessing or sometimes you... It's like when you go to a concert, you get behind yep. a couple of people. You're like, these guys are going to that. That's a fucking Grateful Dead bumper sticker. I'm got, <laughs> this guy knows where he's going. I'm, I'm going to tuck in behind this dude. Only on the Palisades. So I got behind this person <laughs> and uh, found myself sitting at a light on uh, on Sunset now, which, which will eventually work its way down to PCH. And I was just sitting there, and it was red, and I was just raining, and I was sitting there. And uh, here's the part where I almost was crushed. A giant old eucalyptus tree just goes, just falls right Holy in front shit. of the highway, just right where. Look, uh, again, not so much hyperbole. I, t- I took a shot of the tree that fell over, and that's sunset. That's the highway. Like, it just, wow. boom, just right. And I, I had pulled my car around and maneuvered it another direction and was approaching it for another direction. But I was sitting where this white truck is just in front of the tree waiting for the signal. And if the signal had turned two seconds earlier, the thing just came down with a thud. Then this took out a power line of because we don't did. bury the power lines. Of we took out a power line, big explosion, big fireball, wow. sparks mm-hmm. come flying out, hot, hot wire on the ground, oh, good. Live buzzing wire. around. And now a guy who is not very fearful found myself fearful because I looked up and it was nothing but power wires yep. and poles over me. Yep. And I was like, if, if one of these, another tree goes and knocks the power line down and hits the car, like it, Totally dangerous, totally with freak wow. out situation. Everyone's sitting there in their cars. There's a wire buzzing around on the ground, Holy big shit. sparks and stuff. And I thought, wait a minute, why can't we bury these fucking lines in the in the ground? But uh, here we are. So I maneuvered my way around, and then everyone there was a little opening that people could skirt around. But Jesus. we. Uh, had to figure it out, My and uh, people out there filming and taking pictures. Hey, Max Zapata, how does it work? How does the internet work? Because I look for uh, it, but maybe you can look for it. <laughs> I saw a bunch of people out with their cameras, yeah. like filming and doing and doing and filming. I thought, where's this stuff end up? Does it end up? Can you find I, my, it somewhere? My guess is it's their Instagram stories or something uh-huh. that's more like just to their personal friends uh, who follow them. I don't think they're posting hours. it. Yeah, it's not. It's not a general. They're not posting. selling it to ABC. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, it, as, it it was hairy. As my firefighter grandfather said during during the uh, 12 second 1989 earthquake when he and my dad were on uh, ladders painting our house. Wow. Uh, yeah. My dad jumped down to you know, check on us. During the, the World Series? The, the World Series earthquake, 89, San Francisco. Loma Prieta. No, the, uh, yes, Loma Prieta earthquake. Anyway, the, he yells at my dad as he's jumping off a ladder 
to go check on his kids. Watch out for down power lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that, that, that will that will kill you quickly. The down power lines are like the weird. They're like this swimming pool of danger Mm. and that most people or go like, I wouldn't let my kids go play in a house if I knew they had a firearm that was loaded or something like that. But they would all let you go to the one with the swimming pool where the kids statistically could drown. It's just not sexy. Right. But yes, they're everywhere. Down power line. Yeah. There's a rain, earthquake, tornado, hurricane, whatever down power line will. It was you, weird. I, so very quickly. I pulled off onto a side street, like a little shaken, like this tree just went rah, boom. And then the Jesus. then this explosion and then the line and the sparks and everything. And I went like, oh, shit, what's the next tree that's coming down? And that's I pulled off point. onto a side street. I just looked up and it was just a sea of power lines oh, no. above me. And I was, like, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, I, I was immediately replaced by anger. <laughs> These, these fucking was. people are living in $11 million yeah. homes. Why the fuck aren't these power lines in the ground? And I don't sign off on you dying this way. Yes, that wouldn't, that, that wouldn't it's be not glorious. satisfying. I'm going to be eaten by great white. Yeah. Made my intentions clear. Right. All right. Enough wow. about me. Gina, what did you do during the uh, holidays? It was it was lovely, actually. We, uh, we had the kid for most of it, but we did get away for two days. And I said, we're going to Joshua Tree because I know it's going to be raining and I want it just to be like a nice, like snuggly place. Well, the high desert turns out didn't get any rain, but it got a lot of high winds. Mm. So I found a magical Airbnb called the Time Machine. And it was, you'll I'll show you in a second, but very like... <laughs> If Palm Springs is known for like mid century, Joshua Trees, it's like dirty hippie older brother. It's like kind of 70s mm-hmm. vibe. And the only entertainment in this entire house was a record player and like 200 nice. vinyl records. Oh, that's sweet. It mm-hmm. was awesome. So mm-hmm. literally sat, had a couple of drinks for two days. And this is just one of the many records we listened to, but this at least shows you the main room. Oh, Very well, seventy. Young. Yep, yeah. built a fire. They had four fireplaces. I gotta say, I With was wood burning <clears throat> stove. Yeah, it was I, awesome. I was backstage doing a show in uh, Milwaukee at a theater, and they had that whole sort of vinyl vibe, mm-hmm. record player, and all that. And all the records were stuffed up in the thing. Now, records, people forget, unlike books can't tell what record it is by looking at the edge of it oh, when that's it's right. stacked There's up into the thing. Books, you can kind of drag your finger down yeah. and go the name of it. So you have to slide each one out and take a peek. Yeah. And I kind of like the foreplay of that. Mm, like the mystery. You, I'd slide it out and go like, oh, oh. Karen King, tapestry. Carol. Or Carol King, a tapestry. Like I go, oh, I wonder... Well, maybe there's something better. Yeah, like, sure. like there might. Yeah. I might be able to. Door this, number three. This is a seven, but I might be able to up my no, score right. here. We at least had the milk crates with the flip. The flip mm, is fun flip, too. Flip. Yeah. So I mean, everything from Herb Alpert to mm-hmm. Hart to oh yeah, that is awesome. We're and, looking at the picture of the place in Milwaukee. Paps sorry. Theater. Oh, yeah, Paps that's Theater. That's gross. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. The Stones. I mean, we we all we did was sit around and drink some scotch and listen to records for two days. It was great. Um, so the when we got home that's when the two days the the rain apocalypse came we had the the child with us and one of the christmas presents i know you're gonna think this is lame but i'm telling you one of the things i got for the family for christmas was this beginner's chess set to teach you how to play we are fucking addicted we can't stop we end a game we immediately set back up the kids in on it we are obsessed we can't stop. we play it on our phones we're looking for you know now i'm trying to master castling i I, i'm we can't wow. stop. I don't know, gay code. Thank you. <laughs> so, and by the way, that mystery box you're seeing, that the Lego Mario? set, Santa brought that for the child. That is an 18 and up Lego set that he did in a day and a half on his own. We, we're we a very uh, focused family. That so, means he's either brilliant or severely impaired, <laughs> but well, has a unique gift. I was going to say, yeah. you've met him, you tell me. So for <laughs> three days... We sat at the corner of the living room table and built Legos and played chess. And we listened to what the child asked for, fancy music. Classical music the whole time. I don't, uh, yeah, don't sleep on the board games. It was so much fun. The board game is really the equivalent to the vinyl and that everyone's got something on their phone Mm -hmm. or their computer now sort of digitally to entertain themselves, but there's something tactile about the board game. And the vinyl, there's something tactile. I don't think what people 
you know, here's a esoteric thought, but um, we are constantly trying to get away from tending to things. Mm-hmm. So we used to have to tend to a garden. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you had to water it, oh. and you had to mulch it, and you had to had to tend to it. Dude, you know? the ultimate example is the records. You have to yeah. ch- flip it every 25 that minutes. That became a problem yeah. when we got really Versus comfortable and drunk. Versus that's on what, Spotify <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. You have to tend to a Who's record. Go you flip couldn't the record? just hit your $8,000 no. 8, song playlist yep. and walk away or fall asleep or let it just ride it. You know, it's digital. And God help you if it starts skipping. Yeah, and there's something There's there's something to tending. Like you used to have to tend people. People had to tender their car. Right. They had to get up and they had, to, they had to tinker and monkey with things and records and board games mm-hmm. and, and gardens and, mm-hmm. and your home. You know, it's like stuff, stuff, you know, the, you know, the thermostat on and on. I mean, before that, you had to start a fire. Yep. You know, you had to tend to the fire, yep. you know, but the tending creates an engagement. Yes. And the engagement creates a, a bit of a focus and a little bit of a responsibility. And if you wonder why so many people seem like tuned out or just mm-hmm. whatever, like I'm not thinking mm-hmm. about stuff because they hop into an Uber, they play video games on their phone, mm-hmm. they bring the food to the house, everything is just sort of digital and everything's on a timer and nothing really needs the hands-on yep. kind of tending You're to. Right. And I would argue that the experience, whether it's the board game, or listening to music, when you're involved in it, when you're doing the vinyl, yes. you have to tend to it. You're Flip absolutely the record, right. Pick the song, whatever it is. And you can, once you learn the album, you sort of go, oh, this is the second to last yep. song. I better start playing on Preparing. getting up here. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you said it's that. It's foreplay, but it, it creates a more engaging. It's more engaging. You're absolutely right. And we're a TV family. We like TV. We like video games. The TV never went on. We were having too much fun. Um, I'm going to one up what you just said. And yes, and the shit out of it, because the other thing I'm well, it's one of my resolutions, but I've been cleaning like a motherfucker at the house. And so we needed a break. We went to see Straight No Chaser because Seggy mm. got us great tickets and gave the family a shout out, which was really fun. So in the middle of this two day rain, this was in Thousand Oaks, which is 20 minutes, you know, into the vat, like almost to to the outlets, you know where that is. And we're all settled in and the show starts and it's so exciting. And, you know, they got the lights and they got the mics and it's like the sound is whirling around you. And the first song is great. And it's like the kid is engaged. The second song is great. 10 seconds into the, I think the third song, all the power goes out. Oh Oh, man. Probably. Power lines. (laughs) All the power goes out, the floodlights come on, the emergency lights, and all the mics go off, and we don't know what's going on, and the guys on stage are kind of looking at each other, and they kind of walk off, and nobody knows what to do. The guy who runs the theater, this old, the perfect old theater runner, like a guy who, like, you know, a tech guy at the radio station, old, you know, grizzled guy comes out with his headset, and he's like, yeah, we're working on it, uh, Edison's working on it. Lynn Duke. Yes, yes. And he goes, and by the way, I've been at this theater for 27 years Today is my last day. And this wow. has never happened before. So they're working on it. We're, you know, people are getting a little restless, whatever. And of course, the troopers, the true performers, the guys come back on stage and say, well, we'll entertain while this is happening. And so they go into Africa. People go crazy. And this, they go, you have to be really quiet. There's no mic. There's no lights. Just be quiet so we can sing for you. Well, guess what? The power never went back on. And for 90 minutes, they improvised an entire show because they couldn't do the set that they came to do. Oh, really? So they had to, you know, every six songs, they'd have to go reconfigure chit chat. You Mm -hmm. know, you'd see when someone was singing and taking a lead, the rest of them would be like huddled up like a football. And so I'll show you a really, I mean, I have so many clips. I'll show you a fast one. People were loving this. So the house lights are on, but the stage light. For 90 minutes. Wow. They're not even lit. Nope. It was so powerful. And of course, and I I sympathize with our little guy who was there. He was, you know, little kids, especially you want to see the lights. You want to, he was a little disappointed, but Andy and I kept telling him, I know you don't realize this now, but you're seeing something really special. Yeah. This, this is show's a never been done. It will never be done again. And it was fucking great. And I'm so proud of the guys for soldiering on and, and entertaining us.
All right. Uh, How many other bands could have pulled that off? I can't no. think of any. Aside from coming out like the acoustic well, guitar. Well, hold on. DJ Callis. <laughs> oh, yeah. of course. Fat I was ass tw- pointing at the ceiling. I was <laughs> tweeted that immediately, minutes. by the way. Ironically, you probably could, because there's no difference between what he does with a mic and what he does with yeah. a mic. Well, someone's got to play all the fucking beats no. behind him. Yell over. <laughs> All right, we got the uh, trending topics. Brian, I'm going to ask you to uh, chamber your holiday stories that. until uh, tomorrow. And because... only if we can also chamber uh, resolutions. Yes. I think Gina and I got a couple good ones. We'll, yeah. uh, all right, we'll chamber those. We'll do, uh, we'll do trending topics, and we'll do that right after this. All right, hold on. I'm pissed. Okay. Mm-hmm. We got that Betty White stuff somewhere oh, yeah. around. The tape or the game or whatever that is, Max Pata? Uh, I, we, I was gonna have it. I don't have it ready right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, we're we'll gonna, do it for the news. Yeah, we're gonna do, oh, we're okay. do the news because I was on that million dollar password with her, which <gasps> tore off a, a band aid and opened a wound. Oh God! A fresh old wound for me. Uh, I was just saying though, the reason I'm angry is um, power off at your show. Mm-hmm. Power lines down uh, a day earlier with me, and. Whenever the governor, or we have a race, or the governor, or the mayor, or the whatever, lots of talk about the transgender community, but not the transistor community. Transformer. <laughs> the transformer community. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, Dumbo fucking retards of California, why is it so important to you about the fact fu- we're more concerned about the fucking nut job who walked into the ladies' room at the Wii Spa than we are about the fucking power grid, which affects everybody all the time. What is that about California people? Look, you can get to the transgender community. Community, you can. Mm-hmm. You that's all. That's all good. Once the transformer community has been fixed, one costs money and one doesn't. So you just sit there and talk about that, and we yeah. all applaud. And yeah. then the fucking power goes out every time it rains. Yep. It's a weird, it's not his fault. He's just playing to the fucking dumb shits who vote for him. Why, what is that? Why are we so obsessed with this? What, what's unique about California that we're the least pragmatic <laughs> land in the nation? What, what is that? All right, get the fucking, it, it shouldn't, I was thinking about it. Like, I was like, oh my God, uh oh, it's been raining. Mm-hmm. Oh, get ready for a power yeah. out. Yep. Or, or it's, it's over 100 degrees. Get ready it's for, like, a, it's 2022. Why are we sitting around in a place with the highest taxes in the land going, oh, what the fuck? There's many states that have no state income tax, and they don't fucking sit around going, well, it's, uh-oh, it's raining. Oregon. Right. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Max Zapata. What do you got? It's okay. Jesus fucking Christ. It's everyone's fault but mine. <laughs> you play, Go ahead. you play a game on your phone? No, I was, I was trying to text Kalen to get the uh, the video. Um, so let's see. So while we were gone, there was a big story uh, in a viral video that going around of a uh, a woman on a Delta flight who was very angry. I know. Um, so yeah, Kalen, I, I love coming to work because Kalen always comes into my office and he's like, "Got a good public freakout for you." Mm-hmm. He loves these public freakouts. It's like his big thing. So this is this is right this up is his alley. Cake. Yeah, it is. Well, he he's you know it comes from his dad's a thespian. Right, you know I mean? it's very it theatrical. From an, it, it's a theatrical. It's the new theater. Right, really, yeah, absolutely think about right. It. Yep. Yeah. So well, this uh, this is a lady. Her name is Patricia Cornwall. She uh, she was on a flight from Tampa to Atlanta, and so according to the federal criminal complaint, she tried to make her way from the restroom to her seat. But there was a flight attendant with a drink cart blocking her uh, path. Yeah. So they told her, hey, just find an open seat until the beverage service well, is completed. You got to kind of account for that. Yeah. You know, I mean, as the passenger, right? Yeah. You're like, cart's coming, time to be. No, or- move your ass. Yeah. You got you to gotta time the cart mm-hmm. because you will get cut off. Yeah. Yes. So, so they ask her, just uh, find an open seat until the beverage service is complete. And she responds, what am, what am I, Rosa Parks? Oh, and then, <laughs> Get that Grab drop. That. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then, uh, and then there's just a, a lot of other hubbub, and this is what happens. We'll watch it. It's it's just rich. So she gets <laughs> in a spout with an old time. Who invited you? I'm eating, I'm eating, and I can drink your ass up. And she's oh, yeah, so she's maskless. Yeah, she well, she hers is around her chin, and she's yelling at this guy to put his mask on now. He just said, "I eat it." Yeah. By the way, how do you sit your ass up? Oh. 
He dropped the Karen bomb. Sit down. He's yeah. sitting. She's is that just 80? She's yeah, over. he's 80. He looks like Terry Bradshaw. She's over him. <laughs> She's being told to put. Uh, can we pause it here a second? So who's on first situation? Uh, it's it's All right. incredible. Do you guys not see the ramifications of retarded rules? Do you not see how we deputize all the dumbest, drunkest, most, how fucking much have I been yelling about this? You have now weaponized the dumbest people in our society to walk around and go, hey, you, hey, you, hey, fucking retard on the horse trail that I'm walking past. Let's, let's, just, let's jump back in time 14 months to when they're putting the police tape in front of the fucking horse trail and the guy was yelling at me for walking under the police tape. How's that look now? How's it look? I'm getting fucking pilloried for speaking out. You're all fucking wrong. Pilloried. You're all wrong. Pilloried. <laughs> Good. I love it. Pilloried. A pariah. Oh, now all the fucking talking heads. You have all the fucking mayors sitting back. Oh, well, we can't close these schools. No, no, no. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna close these schools anymore. Where the fuck were you a year ago, you fucking cowards? I was saying this. Indeed, you I'll were. I'll take my fucking apology in the form of a funnel cake. <laughs> Bring it over, bitches. Jesus fucking Christ, how many times do you have to talk about this stuff? It's a bad idea. No one gets it on a fucking airplane. They have filters on airplanes. It's it's It does not transmit. It's the most filtered I, place a, on earth. It's the safest place. Everyone is sitting right next to each other. What's with the fucking mask? All we do is deputize these fucking nut jobs. Now we have a society filled with fucked up people who get to yell at other people and... It's all been underwritten by Fauci and the government because we said this is the right thing to do. So now there's this. Good. Fine. Fucking fun. Fucking <laughs> retards. Jesus Christ. What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, now the, the horse is out of the barn. Like, oh, there's, yeah. how do you deal with this? There's no... This, the second they handed you a snack on an airplane, I was like, it's, it's, it's over. Yeah. There's no science. Yeah. There's no science. They're telling you to take it down. Well, everybody's kind of on your side now because every, now everybody's making fun of the CDC. It's 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 become a meme Ugh. ever since they shortened the, the, the quarter. So days to five we, days. we <laughs> gave her, it's not her fault, we gave her the license to yell at the elderly with no mask. She's yeah. a fucking nutty cunt. <laughs> But she's kind of his face. We got his, she's yelling at him. We have the Delta flight attendant telling her to put the mask on. It's <laughs> yeah, all in the name beautiful. of science. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and this guy, this guy, yeah, play some more of it. He is well, not, more. he is not holding back. Sir. Oh, she, she throws a left. She slaps him. Gina, I've told you women are much meaner yeah, than men. Spitting, she's spitting in his face. She's, trying she's to get spitting in his face and slapping him. Why isn't he worrying about it? He was eating. He was eating, according to him. Now look at, look at this flight attendant using the cart to just Use push the cart. <laughs> <laughs> this is an 80 year old man this is what we've devolved this is our society everybody it's fucking game on it's the lord of the fucking elderly flies we're all just attacking each other as adults idiocracy shit she's yelling at him to put her his mask on and she her mask is around her put your fucking chin I would in the past I would say this is a psychological break but this is too common yeah she's obviously projecting because of the whole seat thing. Uh, this is an hour flight. Is this is diagnosis? This, yes, it is. This is Tampa to Atlanta. I was going to say, it's a short flight, this right? Is, yeah. Ugh. This poor guy. <laughs> Good. Oh, they're waiting for the on the ground. The cops are waiting. Right. Well, uh, so she, she, she was brought him. to the police department and then turned into the FBI. I don't know. Uh, I'm telling you, women are birds. The reason they, in England, they call women birds is because birds are fucking vicious Don't and we would all be dead if they were... <laughs> 80 pounds. If birds were 80 pounds, you'd be running for your fucking life. Yeah. The only thing we got on them is size, but they're mean. Uh, Women are agile, mean, and yeah. this is weaponized yeah. them now that's all fucking on. Is it weird to see a guy stand up to a woman like that? Like, he didn't. Well, he didn't. You don't he think literally he literally did? didn't? Like, he was, well, I mean, he talked back to her. Yeah. yeah. He called her a bitch. That's she true. was being a bitch. She was being a bitch. Well, yeah, she was. So. Well, no, here's the here's the bigger question. What if there's a videotape of him slapping her? Oh, this yeah, guy would be news. put out in yeah. Devil's Island. Yeah. He'd be fired. By the way, he'd be fired from his job. Yes. He'd, 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 he'd have to turn. His life would be ruined. That'd be yeah. it for him. If he slapped her first, or what if you simply reverse the genders? 
What if it was an 80 year old woman sitting there uh, and a 34 year old oh dude oh who stood over and took a shot? At her. That'd that be could it. be attempted oh, homicide. Yeah. Yeah. You have to right, we'd be it. done. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. you bitches want equality? Fine. <laughs> but you got, it's a two way street. But I felt, I mean, this guy's probably like, don't feel bad for me. Like, he's, you know, he's a, certainly a manly man, but he is on the older side, and I don't like seeing him get hit. I don't either. But again, we have, all right, we have a, a, a combination. <clears throat> the combination is a lot of mental illness. Mm-hmm. A lot of pharmaceuticals, everyone's on something, then a lot of whipped up agitation about, you know, this disease, it's it's, it's coming for you, Mm -hmm. it's coming for you, and then... A bunch of fucking kooky mandates, which it, and we've deputized everyone in our society. That is a volatile combination. Yeah. That's going to lead to this. All right. Yeah. So, um, by the way, this this woman, she's a uh, 51 years old, ex Raiders cheerleader. Yeah. All really? right. Playboy mm-hmm. model, mm-hmm. Baywatch actress. Raiders makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there you go. So uh, let's see. Let's move on to Playboy Oakland Raiders or LA Raiders. <laughs> Playboy model doesn't mean Unclear. what it used to mean. I mean, even going back when she was 10 years ago or 15 mm. years ago. Really? Well, I was a kid. If you were a Playboy model, mm. you were centerfold. Oh. Right. That was it. Now it's like she did some topless stuff for Playboy Online right. uh, or the lingerie uh, we, yeah. thing the that's only she digitally was in a bunny released. Suit at a party. Yeah, it's like a video. Yeah. yeah, it's not, doesn't mean right. Playmate. Mm. Miss May. Right. You know what I mean? It used to mean something. It yes. Yeah, it's not as lauded as it was. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's see. Oh, let's talk about Deadspin. So Deadspin, mm-hmm. the uh, the sports website, uh, they they released their idiots of the year. They're like top fifty idiots of the year. Um, oh, and, that's the sports website. Yeah, sir. yeah. Man. So and their their number six idiot of the year, Sage Steele. We've talked about her when she was on Jay Cutler's podcast, and oh right, she's complaining about the vaccine right. mandates and uh, and and Obama. At ESPN, like. She was no, she was on a different podcast. No, she was podcast. on Jay Cutler's podcast talking about the ESPN. Yeah, mandate. Yes, I meant. Yeah. yeah, she was playing about the Vax mandate yeah. at ESPN. Yeah, so um, so they they named her Idiot of the Year at, at number six. I'll give you the top five in a little bit. But the reason- By the way, I, I thought you pussies at Deadspin. I thought the whole thing was strong black women. Don't we want strong black women? Not this What about one. strong black women? Yeah. That's a strong black. She's got an opinion. Yeah. She's black. She's a woman. Not good enough for you over there at Deadspin? Or just- Strong black women who no. agree with everything you have to in, say. Yes. In the Which article, you, they like just put her, that <laughs> in the fucking byline. Then who go? We support women of color who agree with all the shit yeah. we say. Well, not only is she um, not a quote strong black woman, they called her. You could put this up, Cam. This is the tweet they they eventually deleted, but they called her the black Candace Owens. Right. Oh, so that's funny. <laughs> you're no longer. <laughs> You're not Candace Owens is black is not black <laughs> because she's wow. conservative. This, it, Trump, no. But can we just give the whole race thing a fucking race? Or give it a break. Like this thing of like because we're now getting down to the point where uh are you black? I don't know. Who'd you vote for? Right, kind oh, of okay. Yeah. Now you're not black? At that point, you're done. You're yeah. done with race if you go, well, this woman believes in masks and this woman doesn't, so we'll decide whether they're officially black or not. It's fucking insane. What would Martin Luther King say? <laughs> Coming up on his his uh Never weekend. stop throwing up. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And then and also White Rosa Parks on the Delta. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Where does it end? Sage, so you know, and, and again, think about it. So here's this group, they're obsessed with race and equality, except for you have to agree with them, otherwise you're not officially black or Hispanic or black uh, Larry Elders, the black face of white racism or some fucking nonsense. Or trans, nonsense. Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, right. You're you're out if you don't agree with them. So you're no longer trans or black or, or whatever it is. But here's the other decree they always have. It's just like, oh, we want a seat at the table and an open dialogue and an honest discussion or whatever. Uh, I've had some interactions with the Sage deal. And uh, privately, and she's just like, uh, I don't, I don't want to talk. I, I just want to, 
I'll talk about this shit later. I just want to have my job. Uh, like I like so we have a person with an opinion who went on a podcast and shared their uh, opinion, which was perfectly valid, or at least it was their opinion, but it seemed a pretty measured opinion. And now they don't want to talk anymore because they don't want to be fucking fired from their job because you people who want an open dialogue and never stop talking about uh, a seat at the table to have an honest discussion about you people have silenced everybody. Fucking retard pussies. I I was talking and it's everyone else's fault but mine. Because yeah. I've been calling these people out for a fucking decade, <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, I don't want uh, to upset them. Well, you know who would absolutely agree uh, with you? Sharon Osbourne. Yes. Who, the, it's called The Talk. Yes. Mm. yes. And she said, uh, well, he Pierce, Pierce Morgan's not that bad of a guy and got canned. Yeah. I know that the, the fragging of the people that weren't involved with whatever the right. first racist right. incident the first, or or it's Chris, what's his name, from The Bachelor? Right. What's Harrison. Name? Chris Harrison. Uh, Sharon Osbourne and Chris Harrison weighed in on a pretty non-controversial racial episode in the first place. The uh, antebellum party, mm-hmm. the college party picture, and then uh, Piers Morgan being racist because he critiqued. Meghan Markle. By the way, do you guys want to live in a society where people go, that cunt is nutty, but I can't weigh in because she's a little browner than I am and I don't want to be destroyed? Is that that that's how we're going to work this new world order? I can't have opinions about fucking horrible people if they're black or Hispanic or lesbian or whatever. That's that's where we want to be. So commentators, you can't say anything about the Duchess of Vickerton because she's her fucking she's half black. That that's that's the new thing. Yes. And then if somebody defends that person and goes, that person's not a racist and you get fired from your job? Correct. Ugh. Yeah. Fucking good luck, everybody. Fucking idiots. It's everyone's fault but mine. Yeah. Because everyone needs to fucking Next book. step up and get just go, fuck together. you. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, yes. I, was, I remember I was talking to a sports reporter and he was asking me about this show. And he's just like, wait, so you can just say whatever you want? Like anything? He was just in awe. He couldn't, he couldn't believe it. Uh, you have no idea... How many people are just quietly scared to speak about shit? Like they're like, I, I love you. I'd love to do that, but I just can't. I got, I got my job. <laughs> Things oh, have yeah. settled down. I don't want to deal with shit. Yeah. Yeah. There we are silencing women of color. Well, awesome. Good. Yeah. You're all fucking heroes. Sorry. Well, What's that's the... been. Uh, so they, they changed the headline to Sage Deal, the Candace Owens of ESPN. Okay. Mm. So the, the other one was funnier. Yeah, yeah. I like the other one too. Um, top five after she was, she was number These six. These are all sports related? Yeah. Uh, number see. five, idiot, Urban Meyer, of course, sure. right? I had it. Wow, top four better be strong. Yeah, right. <laughs> he was uh, idiotic. This oh, time. they got to have Aaron Rodgers on there somewhere, yeah, right? So four is the Chicago Blackhawks organization. Why? Um, there was a sexual allegation with one of their former players oh. and, and like their video coach, and they have a racist logo. Oh, no. uh, that, that, that's not <laughs> and. That's like me going, oh, why why am I attracted to Gina? She's funny. She does voices. Oh, that's so nice. She's a wonderful, oh, she has dressed. a caring heart. Oh, yeah. She's so, Thoughtful. and nobody's better around kids. A huge oh, rap. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and put that one at the top. All right. We'll get to the other ones. Yeah. Motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Uh, number three is Trevor Bauer from uh, the Dodgers. Oh, yeah. yeah, he had a big... He, he, uh, yeah, he, he sat out the second half of the year. Or yeah, something, right? but they never convicted him, right? No, and there was like a lot of iffy stuff about it. And he was uh, he was under investigation oh, for really? so long. Like, I, I mean, I had him on my fantasy team. Just, I kept him. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> hey, can I uh, for 2022 new rule here, new sure. decree? If you were abused, mm-hmm. male or female, and it, it, you could be the old guy that was assaulted by the Raider at. <laughs> Or you could be the chick who is accusing Trevor Bauer mm. of assaulting her, or whatever. When we take the weird shot of you looking abused, so mm. we can see the red marks on mm-hmm. your face or whatever, you have to smile. <laughs> I feel like you're influencing me with the super pouty face. Mm. You're right, I, I, like Amber Heard. Between well, the lighting right, and the yes. super pouty face, I feel like you could just I could step out of the shower and you could take right. the right picture of me and go, "What have you done to him?" <laughs> yeah. I always think about the before and after weight loss pictures, like the pictures. first picture, they're just looking sad. Yeah. Like, oh, they sad. stand in the pants, they're smiling. Be- yeah, because I really want to see if this product works, yeah. and I really want to see if you're bruised up and abused, <laughs> and this is influencing me. So you have to mm. smile during the 
fat picture oh. and frown during the after picture, and that'll really yeah. be the essence of yeah. whether this works. That's the good. East picture, Captain Morgan pose. That's right, Captain mm-hmm. Morgan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Neutral. Looking triumphant. Straight ahead. Whether you've <laughs> lost weight or you've been beaten by a pitcher, Captain Morgan. Get the barrel out. Brian's right. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> well, I would love, I, you know, it would be funny if you took a bunch of nine-year-olds, you know, and you took the same person and, and you went, um, have, show them a frowny mm-hmm. face abuse picture and show them a smiley yeah. face abuse yeah. picture. Yep. There'd be a totally different outcome. Of course. All right. Uh, number two, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Uh, there yeah. we go. That's number one. Number one, John Gruden. Oh, fuck you, you <laughs> fucking wow. pussies. They're so, what, are, what happened to sports? Whatever he did was five years ago. Uh, at at <laughs> least. Yeah, what the fuck happened to sports? I, I, Dead spin. I know, I couldn't tell you. You but. fucking pussies. You're such pussies. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is sports. Yeah. What did Gruden and, even have, was accused of doing? I mean, emails. emails. Right? Yeah. They went back the emails. emails. They, Private emails. Desmond hates racists. Right. Okay, <laughs> heroes. Thank you, heroes. Just them, though. Yeah, even yeah. in Sage, Just Sage, Sage, Sage's article, he's uh, a term racist. Well, and at the very too. least, what was this article? In t- what was the headline? Idiot of the Year. I mean, call it like most controversial person, you know? When did, uh, well, first We're off, talking about it. I right. would like to get uh, Sage Steele and uh, whoever runs Deadspin and hand them both a Rubik's Cube and start <laughs> the clock and go, let's see who the fucking idiot is. Because mm-hmm. I bet she would beat him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a sharp cookie. Yeah, they didn't even they didn't even put the author of these articles. They just put when, that's been staff. But when did oh, sports? Yeah. When, did, when did this? When did this make its way into sports? This weird, retarded, pussy wokeism shit. When did ESPN and Deadspin's like? When did they become so fucking woke? Like, and what's attractive? To their fans, you know, like yeah. a, hockey fans mm-hmm. and football fans. These are dudes who are like swilling beer and watching people run into each other. Like, well, it's what? no longer about the 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 athlete or like just the sports and the scores. Now it's about the athletes' personalities, who how they are off the court, right. off Social the field. Media. Like that's a huge that's a huge part. All of it right. Now. Anyway, well, dead spin. You're dead to me. Well, <laughs> let's do a, let's do a more feel good sports story. You you actually tweeted about this, Adam, um, in a, at the Holy Trinity School in Georgetown in Washington D.C. Third grade teacher, Miss Fitz, oh, they call her. Oh, yeah, that's great. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so she made a bet with her students that uh, if she makes this full court shot, we're getting hot chocolate on Monday. And and and, never, and so she, this, this, is that, this is the video, so you can watch. She has incredible form. You go, go ahead and play it. You can play it, Kayla. She launches it. It is a full quarter. Yeah, really Boom. Is. Great well, arc. And right in. Uh, no no bank. Wild. No bank. Yeah. That's, no, the, that's yeah. the key. No bank. And everyone's... She, Everyone's going nuts. She kept that arm up. She yeah, did. She yeah. Followed through. Shouldn't mm-hmm. the shouldn't the bet have been if I make the shot, you all bring me hot chocolate? Yeah. Well, she was just excited anyway. She did, she actually did an interview with Sage Steele and uh, oh wow, uh, yeah, the idiot of the year <laughs> <laughs> with the idiot of the year. And yeah, she's just like, I'm just stoked I got hot chocolate. Period. And she's she's a player for Rutgers. Uh, nice. She was a player. She for, was. Yeah, right. she was a player for Rutgers. And, yeah. Uh, and you tweeted that next uh, next time, hot chocolate on you, Adam. So yeah. I saw a few articles uh, quoting good, that. Good name for Sage Dale, actually, hot yeah. chocolate. Um, yeah, that was her Agreed. 33rd attempt. I didn't want to say <laughs> oh. anything, but you can look at all the misses. Oh, see, so, yeah. They're online. Mm. We're, aren't we always talking about how the news just gets that one clip and it changes everybody's mind? We mm-hmm. should have seen the first yeah. half hour. You know, Air actually... Balls, yeah. She should be frowning when you she shoots You know, actually, yeah. what you need... Which I've never, I never really thought about this, but there's a lot of those stupid. I'm going to go up to the third floor and throw the ball off the top of the building mm-hmm. and swish it, and and then everyone second one is like, eh, how many times did that guy try that? Mm-hmm. You know, but what you need is um, kids going nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yep. that yep. says first time. Totally, kids get bored. They're, they're fucking playing, done. Well, if you've done it for the thirteenth time, they're not even looking oh, anymore. You're right. Yeah. You take, you go down to the schoolyard, hire three nine year olds <laughs> to go fucking <laughs> berserk <laughs> over your ho- half court yeah. hook or yeah. whatever, or even if it's a sock in the hamper from right. across the room or whatever. You get a kid going bananas. That says authenticity. Yes. yes. I, I agree. That's 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 what they have. that's what Guinness World Records has to do now. Wow. That's what everybody's. I need. To, that's how I know how many attempts. Yeah. Right. Have Fresh and comment. Remember that for the video I'm going to play tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> that's right. 
Oh, oh, do you guys watch, watch any of the New Year's Eve broadcasts at all? <laughs> I have some of it for the news. I was doing. Oh, I know you do. Yeah. Okay, that not that part. No, no, okay. we, we can talk about. It, but it's, I did it's a great. show at the Brea oh, yeah. Improv on uh, New Year's, so I was out there and. Uh, Were you on stage when the clock struck? <clears throat> no, I did a I did an earlier show, which was a, a great show, and everyone came out and had a, had a good time. But uh, I was not doing that. I didn't do the ball drop. I think I was, I was driving home. Stuck oh, you and Brea? Were you going to Medieval Times or something? <laughs> no, but okay. I did. I did have a. Uh, I did have an. I did have one of my Mike Ar- August arguments, which is. Um, yes. Brea Improv is. It's almost it's almost an hour from where I for where I am, and uh, I talked to uh, Mike August. Told me it's a seven thirty show for the last uh, week, which means uh, it's a seven o'clock show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I decided to, uh, oh. I decided at about at about six twenty oh, to just check from my hour long commute from my home it's a seven o'clock show now i had a feature and an opener and an an mc so i bought myself like half an hour before i had to get there and then i had this conversation with mike which is what mike does all the time which everyone does well many people do they go mike's always like those fucking dopes they told me the wrong they always tell me the wrong yes that's why they have a website that's why you have a computer that's why you get to check you know because i have these conversations all the time mike did the uh must be doors at seven you know show at seven there i go no no no. they open the doors an hour and a half early everyone with a ticket figured it out we have this conversation every time i go on the road they told him the wrong time. Mm-hmm. We don't know if they told him the wrong time. Maybe they told him the wrong time. But we. But since this happens, once people announce these people always do this, now it's on yeah. you. It's not everybody else. You have to go use your phone and check and see. It was a yeah. 7 o'clock show, which then, <laughs> by the way, which made me late and Mike late at this point. And the other thing... Sorry, tangent. Please. I, I uh, Chris has heard me marvel in person at this uh, many times, and uh, you guys have heard it, but not as much as Chris because he's been on, he's been on the road with me. Um, the show it is now at the point where it, the show is not seven thirty; it's seven o'clock, mm-hmm. and. You guys know the way I roll. I'm I don't sit in the green room for an hour before the show. Mm-hmm. I check my ways. If it says it's going to take 51 minutes to get there, I'll pad out about 10 minutes and I'll show up 10 minutes before the set. I don't need any prep. I don't, I don't want to just sit in the green room. So by the time I found out the show was seven o'clock, it was too late for me to get there before seven. Uh, but we had an opener and a feature. I bought some time. So I hustle it up. I hop in my car, and of course, I get the you know the semi frantic calls from August, who now is running late too because he's in the neighborhood, but he's a half hour off. The club wants to know when. When are you going to be there? The club wants to know. They want their Fair. they want their feature there. They they they're nervous about starting the right. show and their their the feature act or the uh, headliner is not there. Right. So they want to know. So I go, uh, I'll check the ways. I, it says I'm pulling up right at 7.15, you know, start the show at 7, and I'll be there at 7.15, and I'll hit the stage at 7.30. All right, so call them back, tell the frantic club, 7.15. Okay. Like clockwork, pull on to the, uh, oh, by the way, with ways, no more excuses, people, for it's like, oh, I didn't know how long it was mm-hmm. going to take me to get, it's just fucking check your phone. I know you're full of shit anyway, but I know you get there exactly when it says you're going to get there. Yeah. Pull into the back. Uh, no, no place to park, but a cup, couple of coned off parking spots in the back. And then nobody from the club. No, 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 no They'll human be beings. There is the valet guy. So, but the valet guy services the restaurant oh, and the club right. and, and everything else. And then I pull up and, uh, I go, uh, I roll the window down. I do something I almost never do, but I'm in a rush here. I go, I am performing here tonight. Uh, I need a I need a parking space back here. Sure, it started, senor. <laughs> and the guy, white guy. <laughs> what? The guy goes, uh, 
Where are you performing? Oh, boy. At the Color Me Mine. <laughs> at the fucking huge, <laughs> at the 500-seat fucking nightclub that you're standing in. For, there's a mural of Joe Rogan. It's right there. That place. The place with no windows and all the people inside of it where you can hear... Laughter. You can hear the comedy coming out. There's a side door. That's my name on the market. Before there, yeah. yeah, not not at the AM PM that's on the corner. I'm I'm working here tonight. I've I've moved up. Yeah, I'm headlining. Things are now. going well. Yeah. So he goes, uh, "Where for?" I go at the at the club at the at the Improv, and he goes, "Okay," and I go, "Can I, can I have a place to park?" And he goes, "Well, the the park parking's only for the headliner." Oh my! And I go, "Well." Check All right, let's do Good some news. math. The show has started. Uh -huh. So if I was the opener, then I would have to be on stage. But someone else is on stage. You can hear it. So he goes, it's, it's, he goes, it's just for the headliner. I go, well, I am the headliner. And he goes, two other comics have come through here, and they both said they were the headliner. Wow. It's like, it's like oh, wow. smart. But they're, 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 they train in improv. But they're on stage right now. You understand? Can We can do the math here. I've showed up after them. So de facto, I would have to go on last. So he's like, okay. You got me so there. Yeah. I circle around. He moves the cone. And then I'm standing on the side of the club. Now, it's a huge club. It's like 500 seats. I can walk around the building and walk through the front door, but I'm just going to be standing in the back of the club now. I don't, I got to yeah. get backstage yeah, in the to, the, to the green room, yeah. right? So then uh, there's a side door, but the side door is where the actual performance room is. And I can hear the laughter. I'm not going to walk in that. there. So I call Mike and I'm like, Mike, um, I don't know how to get in this club. And he's like, go around to the, the back door where the valet is. And I'm like, okay. okay. But I already tried that door because when I performed there before, that's how I went in and out. That door's locked. It's 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 a fire oh. door. It's locked. So I'm standing back there. And you know, I've been there for five minutes now. And at some point, I'm just jiggling the handle and it's locked. And I just start kicking the door. Oh, my. Like I'm get the, I don't know what to do. Get the fuck out. You, we just had a conversation 21 minutes ago about me running late. Can you dispatch somebody? I said I was going to be there at 7.15. Can you dispatch someone at 7.13 and a half yeah. to just stand there and say, Corolla is going to be pulling in in an SUV. You know, well, say to me, like, what, what are you driving? Oh, I'm driving a Lincoln SUV. All right. Hey, guy who gets 11 bucks an hour, just go stand out there for the next eight and, and wait Seven. for this guy Georgia. to pull in so you can escort him where. So I, I, I start kicking the door because... I don't know what to do. I got to get in. I know they're waiting for me, but they're but they still would never not. put somebody outside. It sounds like and, a nightmare. But also, <laughs> they run the club. What is their expectation? The back door is a fire door. It's locked. You can't have people off the street just wandering in backstage. You know that's right. look. Where where shall I go? How how would this work? He's an able bodied guy. He'll figure never, it out. Let's yeah just, yeah. Then drop in through the, the roof hammer. like like a fucking Tom Cruise. <laughs> I was just, I kicked the door and some waitress or something heard me and like opened the door and said, how dare you? Yeah. She said, There's a show going on. <laughs> I said, yeah, I know. No kidding. I'm supposed to be in I'm it. In it. I'm like, all oh, right, fine. Come in. I like off. Uh, here's what I'm saying. Why is this a surprise? What, what is this? Uh, and why are we having discussions? Why are you saying what time? Yeah. When? when? Mm -hmm. If you're just like, well, well, who cares? Yeah. I'm going back. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to lock the door. Why Why are we having this discussion? How many fucking theaters have we been to where the show starts at eight? There's no opener. Oh. There's no MC. There's just no happened. anything. The last one. Yep. Chris wasn't even there. And we were, we were like we were pulled up like no one here. Yep. Yeah, right. Totally. right. We had to find where, our parking. And, and Mike's like, oh, fuck, where do we park? <laughs> and it's like, uh, he said we could park out front. Then there's nobody around. Nope. Yeah. What uh, is that? Why is that a universal thing? They it, need you to start the show. You cannot. It's in their best interest. Cannot <laughs> just take one low level guy and tell him, just go stand out there. Go catch him when they pull up. And by the way, the window's about four minutes. The, yeah. You can communicate what time you guys rolling yeah. up. You know what I mean? And they do pressure you. Like, when are you getting here? Because I typically when we go on the road, I'm there before Adam getting get every everything set up. And there's like, what time is he getting here? Like to the minute. What time is right. he getting here? And then I'll give and then I'll give the guy like, okay, he'll be here in five minutes. Can somebody go out there and wait for him? They're like, yes. And then Adam comes in. Nobody was out there. So like, you know what, what you're gonna have to do. Why I is it universal? Though? I don't know. 
No, but I think what you're going to have to do, I don't know if you saw the last Curb Your Enthusiasm where he had to rope off his director's chair and everyone thought he was an yeah, asshole. You've got to put it in the rider. Oh. Have somebody waiting by the door. <laughs> August wants better beer and yeah. he wants a rope down. No, yeah. <laughs> the place to park and nobody out there and just bang, just bang on the door. It's insane. All right, Max, well, wrap it up. We got to do the news. All right. Well, um, for those listening, we actually put a lot of these videos up on YouTube. Just go to youtube.com slash Adam Carolla to find videos of podcasts and stand up clips. All right. We will take ourselves a break. We'll come back with the first news of 2022 right after this. Well, first off, I have to tell you uh, in some breaking news, my mom has been hawking at me to tell you she's been reading not Taco Bell material, or as she calls it, the Taco Shell book. And she is laughing so hard and loves it so much and really, really needed you to know that. Oh, wow. Well, thank her. She already read uh, Daddy Stop Talking and another one. But she, I, I, I would never hear the end of it if I didn't tell you. Thank you. Okay. So some very sad, but... People are acting a little more surprised, maybe the necessary news. Betty White uh, died at her home in California on New Year's Eve. She was 99, three weeks shy of her 100th birthday. Uh, she was born in Oak Park, Illinois in 1922, moved to L.A. during the Great Depression. And as a lot of people know, she was a game show and late night staple throughout the 50s and 60s. Of course, was on uh, Mary Tyler Moore Show, Mama's Family, which I don't remember her on Mama's Family. No. And then she got the Golden Girls and... Nobody watched Golden Palace, so we won't even mention it. Um, the Golden Girls aired from 85 to 92. Everyone on the show, all the principals, got an Emmy uh, during the run. And she made this big comeback in her 80s on the sitcom Hot in Cleveland. And she was the oldest person ever to host SNL after an online drive got her the gig. Married three times, no children, big lover of animals. Three right. times, fool! <laughs> That's right. I am a huge fan of hers because... She did not change her hairstyle in 77 years. True. You it went from watch, black to white and it never works. changed. You can watch her hair, the length of style, in a world where all the Hollywood types are doing extensions yep. and then doing the short crop stuff and then bringing it mm -hmm. down again. You look at shit from her from the 40s <laughs> and then two days before she died. Yep. Exact same You're right. hairstyle. Yep. I like that kind of consistency in a lady. And don't you have a video? We have. I told... Uh, Chris, that uh, million dollar password I did with her, and Ooh. I was I was blown away by how sharp she was. I was also blown away by how stupid the guy was. I got saddled with because. Uh, oh yeah, I he, we've seen that. The thing about well, we'll play the we'll play the intros like a minute and a half. I haven't seen it in a million years, but I was like, don't do it. This is. Uh, it's million dollar password. Did Regis host this? With your host, yes. Regis Philbin. <laughs> With TV legend Betty White and comedian Adam Carolla. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Million Dollar Password, a word-for-word -word battle. Celebrities and contestants going head-to-head. -head. And for one of them, it could mean one million dollars. <laughs> this is from like, oh, like running man. seven or eight or something. Celebrities tonight. First, he's a TV star, a radio host, and you may know him from the movie The Hammer. Adam Carolla. The hammer. The hammer. Right Is Regis hey, still with us? Very good. Yeah, yeah I think, I think he is. Good to see you, Adam. Good to see you, Reg. Came in here after your radio show this morning here in L.A., huh? Yes, I'm ready to take a nap. <laughs> I'll bet you Perhaps are. I'll wait for the speed round. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you. Over here, she's one of the greatest comedy actresses of all time. She's a password legend. Betty White, everybody. <laughs> We will both be missed. Sorry, can you stop it real quick? <laughs> this is important. Regis Philbin is dead. Oh, yeah? He died. This is another is one. A COVID thing? I mean, not he, a COVID, yes. not of COVID, yes. but in that Ex window that July, no one will remember anyone. July 24th, 2020. Uh, worst, worst, worst window yeah. to die. Yeah. The worst. Sorry. No time to die. All right, but uh, this, uh, <laughs> this did remind me of hooking up with this guy. It's a minute long clip. <laughs> you love this guy. Well, the thing about they, I don't know where you guys would be on this, but I'm a busy man. Mm. So they go, you want to do a million dollar password? I go, yeah, yeah. And then I don't think about it right. until the day of. Yeah, boning up. The night before, you know, oh, to, no, tomorrow after the show, you got to go do that million dollar. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. And then, then at some point in the makeup chair, I'll go, how's this game go again? <laughs> That's about as much thought as I give it. Oh, boy. But I assume that the guy I'm paired with, 
this guy's just a townie, you know, he's yeah, a civilian. He auditioned. This guy auditioned. This guy studies. He's a student of the game. He's watched many, like Brian did when he did uh, Millionaire. Who wants to be a millionaire. I did, I did uh, Trivial Pursuit cards. I had Christy read them to me. None of those questions came up, of course. It was nice to get the juice. Due flowing. diligence was done. So I was like, well, this guy knows right. his way around this game. So, and I'm, you know, I'm good on my feet. I think we could, we could do something here. Uh, should I say what the first word? Yeah, the first. The first word when we went first was uh, north. I have to get him to say the word north. Okay. I have to give him clues to say the word north. All right, here we go. You're going to go first, Tim. Adam, you'll be giving the clues in this one. All you right. guys all set over there? Good. 30 seconds on the clock. We start right now. South. Texas. <laughs> East. Atlantic. West. Gulf. Oh, boy. Pole. South Pole. Antarctic. We go on. All right. There's, I, I'm sorry. I, there's no more. No, you there's no it. more a man could do. There is no If you brought Moses and you gave him a thesaurus and you gave him a thousand years, you just couldn't come up with more ways to get someone to North. Uh, Texas, Atlanta, Pole. Uh, uh, well, you played it perfectly. Uh, what? what? I, I, I remember at the time thinking, oh, that guy got a retarded person. Oh, this is going to be a fucking long slog. This was the very first word I got. If someone's drowning and you toss them the life preserver and they just keep flailing, it's like, yeah. well, well I've, I've clearly done what I can here. If they're going to die, it's God's will. Yeah. I got to watch that. I got to watch my, <laughs> I got to watch force majeure. I got to watch those clues one more time. Texas. Yeah. South. By the way, wouldn't that make me an insane person if the word was <laughs> Texas and I just start off with South? Wouldn't that be make, wouldn't make me a fucking criminal mastermind? Yeah. You'd be like, yanked be, off the show. That's right. I'm too focused on him not getting north and not his insane guesses. <laughs> I, I, again, now we'll watch it again, but let's just pretend he was right on every one of his... <laughs> And then, and then, and then, reverse engineer to what say, clues uh, I'd be giving. Uh, and sorry, here we go. Right now, South, Texas, <laughs> yes, East, Atlantic, West, <laughs> Gulf, West Gulf, Pole, South Pole, Antarctic. By the way, I ran out of compass <laughs> directions. The only one left was North, so I couldn't go there. Mm -hmm. And now, I don't know the word until they tell me the word. Right. So I did, there's four compass settings. I did three of them. The fourth would have disqualified me because right. I would have said north. So now I went to pole. Not enough. South pole. Com Everything he guessed was a geographical location. This had to be pure, insane. just. <laughs> person is insane. Yeah, we, we have Regis's reaction, too. <laughs> well, yeah, I want to see that. That first one, when the man says south, you said east, south, you said west. South. We're looking for north, Sebastian. Thank you, Regis. He's having a good laugh. He, he like, oh, doesn't ho, have ho. a choice. Sebastian, who I'm sure was killed by neighbors by now. <laughs> he's, he's that annoying. He had to audition for this. Yes. He had to go through this. Callbacks. I think he spazzed out under the lights. Absolutely. I think that was just an adrenaline dump freak out. You're 100%. Right? You're, I get, I'm guessing you're 100% right because what <laughs> tangential story. When I was on Millionaire, my one biggest fear was getting an obvious one, not even obvious, just getting one wrong and having like people tease me about it on Twitter for the rest of my life. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like right. if I had gotten like right. Super Bowl two, like that would just be a refrain for the rest. I'd be Laces live show somebody, Super Bowl two. Right. You know what I mean? Like it would just be torturing me for the rest of my life. And there's no way that mind that was not affected by the lights and the camera right. and Regis, that mind. And, and by the way, you guys should, should know. I, th there's no way he could have got through the audition process right. with that mind. Nope. That was a mind that had an adrenaline. He was probably yes. a cool customer at those yes. right. auditions or right. whatever. Yeah, people don't get the lights and the cameras and the audience and the weird pressure thing no. that hits. And it, and everyone's just, 
You blank. They're they're all on their first date. They're nervous yes. and sh- nervous as shit, and they won't stop talking about their Crohn's disease. And suddenly, they do a great job of they being the producers of making it a very nerve wracking environment. You're in the round. You're right. surrounded right. Right. by right. humanity who you can't see, but you know is there. The music is bum 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 bum. Right. Bum, you know what I mean? It's, it's and did you have so a sunny. monitor, a speaker behind you? Probably. Well, because it's really I cute. The light. The I don't know. Your yeah. game show is very adorable and, and good for you. But as someone who's been on both Patrick Duffy's Bingo America and America Says, I can tell you also it's a very nerve wracking experience. Not since uh, Burt Reynolds handed me the <laughs> Sharpie in Win, Lose, or Draw. Oh, boy. Which Max Powers, tell Gio to find that somewhere. Uh, where you have to draw the awesome. thing it's to get them. It's Pictionary. And my very f- first one was the phrase, an elephant never forgets. <clears throat> and I remember looking at it. That's first off, phrase. I, that's my whole thing. It's, it's not like your it. grandfather used to time, say, right. yeah, grass is always greener, like <laughs> something. An elephant never forgets. So first thing, you're at a huge deficit because you, that's not a phrase. Nobody's ever said that. Right. No one's ever said it. No. But I get an elephant never forgets. <laughs> And Burt Reynolds is pointing at me, and I'm trying to draw an elephant. <laughs> and I'm, like, drawing an arrow to his head. Uh-huh. And people are going, like, donkey skull. <laughs> but nothing makes sense because these aren't phrases that right. anyone's yeah. ever said. So, actually, it's kind of interesting. In that case, I had my hymen busted with a phrase that doesn't exist. So, <laughs> a-, a, made it impossible for anyone to ever guess right. that. And in this case, I get the a very obvious, easy one that my my partner cannot Can't get be because he's having a problem. We should, Chris, write this down for a while, maybe a you know, show in the doldrums of April or something. We should do a, a Adam Carolla game show uh, appearances uh, episode yes. and like go over your, I'd cause you that. were on who, uh, no, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yes. And they got you with a kind of a tough, more of a vocab question, honestly, yes, than a yes. math question. And tons of match game. Yes. No, they got out of the gate with a, uh, Integer, I, integer, integer. Like, well, yeah, whatever the question like, Give me was. a prime integer, and I'm was, like, yeah, it was like uh, it was a math question. Like math was the category. Right. It was like blah blah integer, and it's like, well, there's really more of a vocabulary question. Who remembers what the question. fucking integer is? I don't. By the way, I don't. I was in the fifth grade at some point. I don't remember kicking around the word integer no. that much. Like, all right, give us an example of a prime integer <laughs> for a fifth grader. I'm like, I, uh, is that a kind of car? Like, I didn't know what integer was. <laughs> Now, it's not wildly exotic, but it's also it's it probably is. beyond most fifth graders. And Cherokee, it's not a, it's not, a it's not a math question. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that was funny. Yeah. I, I've, uh, That'd I've, be a fun episode. I've, I've done them all. Yeah. We should we should find that. That I, would be fun. Yeah. The best is uh, Hollywood Squares, uh, the, the Gong Show. We're going to fill up two hours with the questions. Write her down. Uh, Because we're talking about Betty White, somebody posted this online. It's been shared tons of times. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, It says, nope, nope, Betty White didn't die. Nope. She grabbed 2021 by the throat and whispered in its ear, I'm taking you with me, you son of a bitch. Then she threw them both into the fires of Mordor and saves us all. That's my fucking story, and I'm sticking to it. It's canon. Well, she was uh, beloved, and uh, it it takes... uh, <clears throat> now, uh, you know, uh, Betty White gone. Uh, mo- one of the most beloved uh, females are John Madden gone. He mm-hmm. was beloved, too. Yeah. Now there's just Dolly. Everybody's saying She's that. She's the that- last, oh. w- last beloved person. I- stand. No one's going to give a shit about Cosby right. or anybody You're else. Right. Now there's only Dolly. And you know why I am not even going to touch that? Because I feel like that's for that's the thing now. Like, everybody save Dolly no matter what. Okay, okay. I am taking this personally, and I'm just quietly sort of white-knuckling it and praying that nothing happens. Going to bring Dolly back to uh, John Madden. Please do. Boom. John Madden, I was just watching the special. Um, very interesting oh, guy. All Madden? All Madden. I want to see it. I'm you like got to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting guy. Hey, you mm. couldn't be. He led a very interesting life. Very successful guy. Um, hugely successful guy in all different realms. But anyway... Um, had a panic attack on an airplane from flight from Tampa to LA or something as Oakland or something toward the end of his coaching career or something or past the end of it, past his coaching career. But he had a panic attack and he was like, I'm never flying again. 
That was it. It was wasn't. It, it wasn't a Leonard Skinner thing. Right. It wasn't anything. It was just he had a panic attack, and he's he like, associated I'm those things. Never going to fly again. Yep. The and uh, he he had. Um, it was funny because the guy was like interviewing. He's like, "Well, we start taking the train, but uh, that's r- he goes that's run by the government, and uh, oh. it took us three days to get you know. So that wasn't going to do. <laughs> lots of delays, lots of cancellations, stuff like that. So we got a bus, and we he had a gig, and his gig was somewhere like in Nashville. Or something he had to get used Dolly Parton's tour bus. What? The first bus John Madden wow. got onto wow. was Dolly Parton's tour, tour bus. He'd never, he'd just been on those buses that got people from the hotel right. to the stadium, like you know. Shuttle. He got onto Dolly Parton's tour bus and he was like, whoa. This is amazing. This is the way, <laughs> to, game this wow. the way to go. He, and that's. Did he step out all spangly? He rented Land, it for Randy a week, Wake. so wow. it says. Went from Atlanta to Vegas and to Philly <laughs> in one like, trip. You know my tour bus back is like what tour bus? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, and he took Dolly's first tour bus and went. This is the way to. This is the way to travel. That's fucking Have great. Have done that recently? He's not wrong. No, it's pretty awesome. Look, I, I have I have philosophical thoughts about it, which is everyone goes, oh, that's nuts. You know, you should be flying. You know, the bus, the bus, the bus, the bus. He, they went in this part where it's like, first off, Madden got to see the country. Right. You know what I mean? The middle of the country. And stopped, got off, had lunch. Oh, wherever he gets off is a celebrity. Hung, I mean, yeah, yeah. Anybody, you know what I mean? Hung out with mm-hmm. people, met people, yeah. saw yeah. people who worked and did jobs yeah. and stuff. And it was like, it was marvelous. Yeah. Like, it, it was a great, we're all in the airport, pissed off. Karen's yelling at the old guy on the flight, you know what I mean? And we're looking at the guys on the ground as suckers, but yeah. they're really seeing the country. No, you're right. I doesn't and Joe experiencing the country. Doesn't Joe Coy have some crazy tour bus? I think. I, yeah. Did, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but Madden, you know, at the That's time the was Madden a broadcaster, person. right? So like think of how efficient that is. You're watching tape and you're getting all your prep and everything. And I, I, why you couldn't do that on a plane. Uh, Mark Aragos had his he had an ear problem, or no, he had an eye problem. And he couldn't fly for like three weeks or something and he's always crisscrossing the country and he got one of those rock and roll tour buses and he's like i never got more work done in my life wow yeah all right one more story oh Sorry. good okay so cnn's new year celebration took a very awkward sort of hilarious turn after uh talk show host andy cohen began voicing his opinion on former new york mayor bill de blasio i don't know if you saw this clip yet but it's great this cohen i mean i've done his show are you I, a housewife I uh, I don't know why I did a show, but I did a show maybe more than once. It's fun. I think he likes to have a pop or two out there. So was I'll he just skip enjoying to... a little celebration. And by the way, uh... not only was he, but I don't like this term because it takes all of the onus off of you. After I show you the clip, uh, he says um, the comments were, "Good morning. I was a bit overserved last night." Mm. So I think so. Yeah. So here's the deal. Um, so there's a new mayor now in New York, uh, Eric Adams. He was sworn in, replaced de Blasio. And um, a lot of people aren't fans. Uh, he faced a lot of criticism for, you know, violent crime and the stringent COVID-19 policies. We're and talking about de Blasio. De Blasio. Right. And uh, I have like, it's 50 seconds of Andy Cohen going on a tear about him. Anderson Cooper kind of trying to stop him. And on a side note, the dancing that Andy is referring to is de Blasio and his wife basically dancing in an empty Times Square last year for the ball drop mm-hmm. when everyone else was told to stay home. Mm-hmm. So here's the clip. Tell us something, Andy. Watching Mayor de Blasio. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Don't go on a rant. Do his Don't go on a rant. victory lap dance. Don't, don't, don't. After four years <laughs> of the, the crappiest term as the mayor of New York. The That's only thing the that Year. Democrats and Republicans can That's agree how, on I mean, is, is what a horrible <laughs> mayor he has he... been. Wow. So sayonara, <laughs> sucka. <laughs> 2022. I mean, it's a new year. Because guess what? I have a feeling of which, I'm going to be standing right here which. next year. <laughs> and you know who I'm not going to be looking down. at? Dancing as the city <laughs> Comes aboard, <laughs> you. Anderson should have been like, "Remember, I said I'd never give you a blowjob." <laughs> well, I—if well. you shut up for the time I'm blowing you, 
then we can we can go ahead Bring and change my policy on it. Yeah. Yeah. See, well, look, well, well, good. We need more of this. Know, Get drunk, really speak your speak your fucking mind. I mean, well, by the way, what do we want out of Andy Cohen? This is what uh, we want. This is what he is. No complaints here. This I've is seen a, I've who seen a few is. minutes of this in years past, and they do. They, Andy Cohen Moore, push the envelope, at least for CNN, not maybe not by, you know, comedy club standards. Yeah. But, you know, I love it. It got very sassy very quickly and I loved it. Yeah, I, I watched it, too. Even Don Lemon was getting loose and drunk. <laughs> it, it was wild. Like it was they it was weird flipping through the channels and finding CNN. And that's like all, where all the drunk people were. <laughs> Well, you know, I'll have a drink on occasion, like if I'm in a study with uh, mahogany uh, wainscot <laughs> yeah, sure. on or something. Right. But I Snifter. don't take to the microphone no, no, because no. that right is that's irresponsible. It's not professional. No. And by the way, I owe it to my audience to be as sharp mm-hmm. and concise and sober no. as humanly possible. Totally. So as a broadcaster, yeah. I frown upon this. Yeah, that was kind shameful. Of behavior, and it's something I would never engage in. Right. All right, let's bring it up. You got it. I'm Gina Grad, and that's <laughs> the news. Gina, Gina Grad. That was the news. Who is that? With Gina Grad. It could be Sandra Bullock. It's Jill no, Zarin. it could be Jill Zarin. That's a case in the morning with a cup of Jill. <laughs> that's your morning show. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Ace over easy. It's Ace over easy. It was uh, a cup of Jill. <laughs> yeah, Jill, the famous, yeah, Real Housewife was. Yeah, I don't think you were here, Gina. No. We were in this other studio behind us. I mean, this must have been. Wait, I thought it was on stage. Chris, does anyone remember oh. this? No, that was, it was in studio. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, we were, it was so long ago, we were in this other in studio. It had to be 11, 12 years ago. We're in the front here. And her pitch to me about her and I doing a morning show together was she's. Not funny at all, and I am. Uh huh. So we should do this together. How about you leave the joking to Adam? And my thing was, You're like, that's a lot of lifting. I was like, I, I, how about I find someone who's super funny and I can take a shit <laughs> once in a while? Yeah, half the work. She didn't know what. And then we we're making fun of her the whole time, but she didn't know we were making fun of her. There was a little element of that on brand, as I recall. Right? Good. I mean, that must have been from like, like 2010 kept, or something. You kept throwing it to her, and she like wouldn't know. What to, like, am I on? Like that kind of thing. <laughs> you want me to I say something? This. <laughs> we were asking about her husband. Yeah, we'll find we'll find it for tomorrow, yeah, Max Bata. Okay. It, it'll. It'll make you laugh, but uh, yeah, I did do Cohen, and and everyone you can see Cohen's got a drink. Everyone's got a drink. Like when you show up there, they're like, well, "What are you drinking? What are we drinking?" Between this and Match Game, when are you ever sober on TV? Uh, the Tonight Show used to do that. Wow, they had a drink cart parked right in the hall. <laughs> they park it right in front of the two green rooms for the two guests. Just a just a wheeled cart. In the Leno era stocked. Oh yeah, huh? uh, that, that little four four o'clock in the afternoon, and they're wow. like, well, "What do you want? You need anything?" Like they. It's it's a calculated thing because a, a little you know a drink mm-hmm. can kind of grease you. grease the skids mm-hmm. a little bit loosen mm-hmm. people up a little bit kind of get them to talk uh, too much we got a problem right. and I think the drink is more for the guy who was like he's the military veteran who shot Bin Laden right. he might be a little uptight up there or whatever it's not for the comedians right. we're, we're used to talking so we're not uptight but right. it's it's for the actress the young 23 year old who's get her out of her shell a little bit I like bit. that that's smart alright did we bring it home she did <clears throat> yeah. alright last but not least there's Geico do you own do you rent your home well you do one or the other and I bet you work hard as well Well, you know, it's easy bundling your policies at Geico. Geico makes it easy to bundle your homeowners or renters insurance uh, along with your automotive policy. You already have so much to do around the house. So save a bunch of money in the new year and make it easy. Go to Geico.com, get a quote, and see just how much you could save when you visit Geico.com today. All right. Uh, I'm going to be back at Brea Ooh, with uh, Bill Shatner and Dennis Quaid doing shows Holy there February shit. 6th. So come on out for that. I think those are going to sell out. And you can uh, check out our chassis channel, 687 on Pluto TV. It's all free and it's got all the movies there for free as well. Ace Over Easy was 2011. It must have been just before we moved into this, I remember yeah, being December back in December of 2011, the... so yeah. Wow. We moved in here 2012, so it was just ah. yeah, right at the end of the All right, studio. well, we'll have that for you tomorrow. And until next time, I'm Carl from Team Grand Ball. Brian, say it. Mahalo. The reason I'm angry is um, power off at your show, mm-hmm. power lines down uh, a day earlier with me. And whenever the governor 
or we have a race or the governor or the mayor or the whatever. Lots of talk about the transgender community, but not the transistor community. Transform- <laughs> the transformer community. 